what's up? This is exci- this is exciting. Um, we have like a genuine, genuine, bona fide top producer in the seat today, um, and you guys are going to understand what that means shortly. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Explain to the people out there that are seeing you or maybe meeting you for the first time, uh, how did you get into the mortgage industry? Bring us back. I think you've been in it 20 plus years. Yeah, actually 23 years. I think it was the end of 2001. Um, I actually got my real estate license and thought I wanted to be a realtor. And within a month of getting my real estate license, I met a guy who did mortgages and I met him. I talked to him. He's like, Dude, you love numbers. You love sales. You don't need to be a realtor. You need to be on the mortgage end. And I'm like, what's a mortgage? And he talked to me about it and educated me, brought me in. And within months, I was hooked. Um, And I just want to say I had six jobs in my first year and a half out of college. I couldn't sit still. I got bored in every single job I had. And when I stumbled into mortgages, I never felt more at home with what I wanted to do. And when people say, um, do you ever want to do anything else? No. If I ever do retire, it's going to be retiring as a mortgage loan originator. That's awesome. I, I, I appreciate you sharing that. So there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, nuggets in there for you. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about a career or you're uh, kicking around the can on mortgages, uh, it might be a career for you. Um, Scott is a humble guy. So I'm going to pull some things out of Scott based on what I know of our relationships. It's not our first time sitting here. So I'm going to put him on the hot seat. Scott, how long did it take you to become a top? producer in the mortgage industry. I, I believe, and I could be wrong, can you define this for me? I think a top producer is producing at least $100 million a year in the mortgage industry, or is that debatable? No, or how no, does that no, work? no, no, no. Okay. It's, um, and again, doing this 23 years, if you go by volume, it would be a lot different mm-hmm. in 2002 than it would be in 2024, when an average loan size back then might have been 175 and now might be 450 But in our industry, they track this stuff. So they have like what's called the sky Scotsman's Guide, and um, I've been consistently in the top 1% of mm-hmm. originators nationwide for a long time but running. And, and you, all these numbers kind of track across the board. So even so, some people don't know this, uh, but real estate professionals, we can see your numbers too. So we know <laughs> when, you're put, when you're on social media and you're saying top producer and you got you know, 30, 40,000 likes, it might not be a top producer, but that's okay. That's okay because we're working with the real top producers here. Um, and a lot of the people that, that you have in your sphere of influence, in your network, in your halo, they end up kind of by happenstance. You, they rub off on you and that helps with top producing, and you rub off on them, Absolutely. which is a beautiful thing. That's a relationship. So we're going to get into that in just a few minutes. So um, so things things have changed in the industry throughout the years, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, but is there anybody that you'd like to shout out like right now at this time, people you've been working with? It's been a long summer. We're moving into fall. That's where we're at on calendar. But who would you like to say? Well, I will tell you this. There are a lot of people that got out of the business over the last few years. It has been tough. They got out of mortgages, they got out of real estate, they got out of title. But I just have a few realtors that I think of as the grinders that you know you are always going to be in the business. And I think what makes them unique is that they're always looking out for their client. And that's, I think, what makes a good realtor, looking out for the client's best interest, not their own. Um, Amanda Martin, Javier Iglesias, Latal Charvet, um, Megan Green, and Sherry Mraz. Um, and that's like I'm, I'm part of my Broward crew up in um, I, Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter area, Lisa Fishman, Denise Caslow, Robin Suberry. Like these realtors are ones that I have known for not just years, like decades. And they, I mean, through crashes, um, ups and downs. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I notice about all of them, they all look out for their clients. And I think that's why they made it through a lot of these hard times. Yeah. You're the same way. You're the same way. So I appreciate you sharing that. And um, I'll be the person that'll kind of deflect there and say that uh, there's a lot of people that Scott wants to shout out. There's a lot of people that Scott wants to mention. So if your name wasn't mentioned in there, please know uh, he does have you in his heart. He does have you tip of tongue. But we're going to do more of these. Right. So we're going to sit down more over time here and we're going to pull out all these awesome professionals that are in the marketplace. So if you're interested in buying, selling and you heard any of these names, look them up there right? see, see why they have the staying power, see how their relationships work out. Uh, so let, let's keep it rolling into uh, with 
you, you've spoken to some very high level real estate professionals over the summertime. Um, you've been doing deals all summer, we're moving into fall. What is a hot program product, uh, something that you think that people need to know about or should be investigating or talking about? Oh, great question. Yeah. Um, well, one of the biggest things now are people want to buy, um, they want to move up. You know, I did a lot of loans for people five, six years ago, got their starter home, maybe like a two, one and a half or a three, two. Now they might have a family. They need a four, three or a five, three, and they want to upgrade, but they think they have to sell in order to buy. One of the biggest things I'm doing lately is showing people that they might not have to sell in order to buy. They might be able to get that new home and turn their existing home into a rental property, or they might be able to buy before selling. And there are so many different ways to do that. There are even programs out there that will actually give you that bridge loan to borrow against your existing home so you can make that offer and buy that home without having it contingent on your sale. Because you know it's very hard to get offers accepted that are contingent on a house selling. And there are very few people that want to try to thread that needle where, oh, I finally got a buyer. Now I have to go find my home. So I think knowing what programs are out there, there are even companies out there that will write you cash contracts on your property and give you a loan, but still let you go try to resell it um, on the market. So I think educating on the bridge loan products, um, seeing what you qualify for. And the other thing is, you don't know what you don't know. A lot of these buyers or potential buyers don't even know they can qualify for that upgrade. And for those that are like, I'm not moving, I've got a 2% rate, I've got a 3% rate, I get it. I know what that's like, but you're still in a three bedroom, one and a half bath, and it used to be two of you, and now there are five of you plus a dog and a cat. At the end of the day, um, Comfort also comes into play, and that rate, things change. You can buy a home now and refinance when rates drop, but you also want to look at your your living situation and see what makes sense. I always say, just call me. We'll go over numbers. <laughs> oh, that should have been the answer right there. So are there, is there any hot programs or things we should be talking about? Scott says, just call me. I'll tell you about all of them. So that's fantastic. And if you're following along and watching along, you might have heard about some of the topics he's talking about. Is, is the trade-in mortgage in there? Is that, what, is that what you're referencing? Is there a trade-in mortgage in there or well, trade-in? The, uh, you know, I had heard about that in, in one of our conversations we had had here. There are a lot of buzzwords and things that people do, you know, trying to sell and buy or rent it out or pull mm -hmm. equity out. But at the end of the day, everyone's scenario is different. That's true. Everyone's, uh, by the way, everyone's scenario is so different. I'm an advisor. I'm, I'm not just sitting here, here's an application. I like to know people's whole scenarios. I had a client that actually um, wanted to upgrade and they thought they were gonna roll all of their proceeds into their down payment. And when I pulled their credit, I saw about $45,000 of revolving debt, mm -hmm. mostly credit cards, 18 to 28%. Hold on. You don't need to put $225,000 down on your next home. We're gonna make it about 160 down and we're gonna pay off all that debt. That, your new rate on your mortgage might be six something. You're paying 18 to 28% on these credit cards. And they didn't even realize, they mm. didn't look at their overall picture and realize, hey, I could pay off all this other debt, be debt free, and just have a slightly higher mortgage. I, I yeah. mean, it, they don't, like I said, people don't know. They need to talk to an expert that isn't just sending them a link and saying, fill this out. Um, and they need someone that knows their whole scenario. Well, it's worth a phone call. It's worth a conversation. I always say some of my favorite F words, right? Fun, football, free, right? Free. So they, it's, it's, and is it free? Is it costs kind of nothing to, to talk to me. There you go. I love that. So, uh, but this is a very expensive conversation. So if you guys are listening, hopefully you're getting uh, some awesome advice. Paying attention. It's, it's the cheapest bill you'll ever have. Pay attention. Uh, <laughs> that's a joke. So, uh, all right. Uh, let, let's keep it rolling. I appreciate you sharing all this information with me. Uh, we're, we're getting to to your. This is your stage right now. This is your time. Uh, leave us with a why, a piece of advice, or kind of a mic drop moment. Wow. You know. I'm going to go with the piece of advice. And this is what, if someone asked, why are you successful? Because you're quick with numbers or you're a good salesman. You talk a lot. 
I, by the way, I talk a lot. But the you are funny- for your great guy to listen to, though. I'll tell you, I, I enjoy it. Um, it it's it, you end up like fascinated. You look at the room and you see people as they're watching it, and just jaws kind of uh, drop. You, you you are an absolute wealth of knowledge. So my hope, uh, as I've said to some other people who have sat here, is that we keep this rolling and that we this catches fire and that we're able to you know position you with your own channel and your own stuff so that people can get all this awesome information. But leave with that mic drop moment. Um, the piece of advice for anyone in my industry, including my competition, um, also realtors, listen to the client. It's so important. I cannot tell you how many people I know that I work with that just say, oh, you were referred from so-and-so. Here's a link to my application. There is so much information I want to know about someone, not just what's your credit score, income, asset situation, just like that revolving debt situation where we help them pay off $45,000 of that high credit card. Um, Oh, you're planning a trip. Oh, that car payment's going away. The more I know, the more you share with me, the more I can be a true advisor. So my advice to people out there, listen, and realtors as well. Listen to what your buyer wants. If they tell you they want a pool home, show them homes with pools. If they tell you they want this school zone, show that. I cannot tell you how many times I hear people complain that the realtor or the originator was not listening to what they wanted. Now, if you think you know what's best for them, tell them why. Speak your mind, absolutely. I literally have convinced people Sometimes, oh, I don't want PMI. I'm putting at least 20% down. I've had conversations with people where by the end of that conversation, they're like, I'm only putting 10% down. (laughs) I don't care about PMI now that you told me it's that little. And now I'm going to use to pay off that boat that I got at 9.99%. So listen to people. Your job is to help them. It's not, they're not coming to you to help you. Sure, you might get paid in the end, but at the end of the day, my job is to help them. They're not here to help me. There it is. That's beautiful. I I love that. And if you have any questions for Scott, if you want to give him uh, some scenarios, uh, if you have some tough deals, honestly, he's great for the really tough stuff too, not just the easy alley-oops. Tough job, tough uh, deals. How do they get a hold of you? Um, How do they get you on the phone? You, I tell people literally 954-448-5611 is my cell phone. Call Say one more time. One more time. 954-448-5611. You could text me and say, hey, I just saw your video. I have a question. You got a minute. I'll always make time for you and run anything by me. There literally is no dumb question, and I've heard them all, and um, I, I'm an educator. I love are, educating. Are you good with emails? You, email. If anyone sends yeah. you an email? My email, scott.lushing at home.com. Can't get any easier than that. If you've Scott, been watching these, if you've been watching these, you're going to notice that out of like the 10 that we've done so far, I always add the home.com. So thank you. You can also get them at fairwaymc.com. Yep, yep, at, <laughs> this is a full, a full roll reversal. I'm so happy that you said that. At home.com is yeah. an easier one to remember. Spell, spell it for them one more time. S-C-O-T-T dot L-U-S-H-I-N-G at home.com. Yeah, it's worth an email. It, it really is. So if you have any tough questions, uh, tough scenarios, give them a shot. Uh, is there anything you want to leave them with before we before we head out? We're in a place of business. we got to get back to business. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, one of my messages, because, again, I get almost all my business from realtors and repeat clients. And I always tell my realtors, I understand you probably already work with an originator, too. Um, keep working with them. You already have your number one. But... It doesn't hurt to have a number two. It doesn't hurt to have backup. It doesn't hurt to bounce something off. Who, who does number two work for? It does. It does. It, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Let's do to, it. Can we do it? No, it? It doesn't hurt to have another originator expert in your pocket that you could run something by. I actually get a call from these two realtors all the time, and I will say every once in a while, I get a deal from them. But they're like, "My my guy told me this. Is that true? Or did they really change that guideline?" You could bounce stuff off me, even if we don't do our deals together. Because I know eventually, at the end of the day, usually the realtors end up coming back to me and like, all right, you're my guy. All roads lead right back, man. And Scott, that's something I remember about uh, when I first joined Fairway. Um, We had a phone conversation and I just, it sounded so similar. It sounded like I was, you know, a a mirror almost in terms of how you handle your business and how you handle relationships. And I came uh, from being an entrepreneur into this scenario and very similar. So uh, 
I, I do, it resonates I so much with me how important relationships are in that if you're if you're a resource within your industry and you're good at what I need to be careful what I'm doing here. If you're good at what you do, uh, then it's going to show and the relationships will be steadfast and strong. So thank you so much. I appreciate you, you sharing everything you with me. It. And we're going to do this again soon, right? Absolutely.